Hey kids, it's your dad back again, but this time I promise I won't abandon you. And today, we're gonna... What the, what the fuck is this? Covfefe? What happened to the naked DJ Khaled wallpaper? What is it? What does this mean? My favorite mug every fucking time! And today, we're gonna do a how it's made of your favorite song. Crackle uh, cold one with the boys. Rich Chigga, dat stick. So first, we're gonna take care of what I call the dank lead. It's like the most signature part of the song. The beam, beam, like this is what it sounds like. But in order to create such a sound, we first must venture off into the lands of an unforsaken land. Bear with me. Whoa, cool transition, cool transition. Um, ah, hello my children, and welcome to my Ma magical fl flying carpet. Holy shit, that's an amazing flying carpet you have. Are you Aladdin? Nah, I'm Swag Aladdin. Bitch. Okay, well, well, f well, fuck you. Don't, don't call me a bitch. You're a bitch, bitch. Oh, my child. If you want to be able to have the rich chicka beat instilled inside you, you must first bring me, uh, uh like, tw like twelve hot ass girls. Uh, like as you know for research purposes and only then may you be able to achieve the the, the you know make the song all right well fuck you then your magic carpet's not even that cool if you cannot do that then you must be gone be gone I banish you I banish you so I listened carefully to the drums replicated them they sound like this It's a pretty simple song, but it sounds big, like it sounds spacey. And the reason behind that is just pretty much reverb. They add reverb on snare, they add reverb on the vocals, um, and that pretty much just gave it that big room feel. Besides that, it's pretty much just the lead that we threw in on top. In order to make the lead, what I actually did is uh, with my MIDI keyboard, I used a little knob over here that like changes the, like, the fluctuation of the note. So, you hear that? Usually, I just write the MIDI data, but for this, um, I played it live so I could record, you know, the adjustment of the pitch. So, like this. So, I'd hit record and I'd be like this. Next step, you already know what the fuck to do. Compress the shit out of it. We're gonna just fucking blast all the fucking comp compressions to, to the fucking, to the fucking ceiling. I compress my hi-hats, I compress my snares, I compress my kick, and, so, and I don't know, personally, I found it just makes it better, brings out all the good frequencies, and, and it, just, it just fucking sounds better. So one thing to remember, guys, in making hip-hop is, unless you are black or African, African-American, you cannot say the N-word. It's extremely inappropriate. There's a lot of fucked up history that happened with that word. Oh, oh shit. Hello? He what? He, he said the fucking N-word? Brian. Brian Emanuel, listen, you beautiful, beautiful man. Why the fuck would you say, would you say that shit? Did, did you did, were you high? Did you inject the marijuana and now I'm gay? Okay, fuck. It's it's in the past now. He made a mistake. He, he apologized. He owned up to it. He was just a kid. Let's move on. Now that we've offended an entire race of people, let's spit some butts. <laughs> Now, Rich Shiga, um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, what he likes to do with this flow, um, I call it like sleepy rapping or like lazy rapping. And now, in the last couple years, it's picked up a lot of traction as rappers like Future. It's a type of flow where basically it's very low, it's very low energy, but it sounds cool. It's a very, it's like a lazy rap. Try talking right now without moving your lips. So it's like, hey, what up? I went to the store. I suck the dick, oh god. You're gonna be an amazing rapper if you can do that. Also, Brian Richiga, his voice is super, super deep. So in order to sing the song right, you have to possess the voice of a 50-year-old pedophile. But luckily, your boy here already has this skill down. So for this, I'm gonna spin my own lyrics on it. I don't know what the fuck to sing about. Maybe I'll sing about, like, I don't know, fucking a bitch at Denny's. So let's get straight, let's get straight, straight in the, in, in, into the, the music vi Dude, stop. You, you know you put pressure on me when you do the zoom-ins. It makes me nervous when you zoom in on me like that. Fuck. I just fucked 10 bitches in the bathroom of a Denny's. <laughs> Breakfast all day, bitch. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Twelve at night, bitches on my dick, a pussy tight. Riding around like a clown, she hitting downtown. If you know what I mean, yeah, I keep my shit clean. Yeah, I made that bitch scream while I sip on my lean. Yeah. Now we starting, heading down to Denny's. Yeah. Walking with my sabbats, wearing my old hoodie. Yeah. She be tripping, thinking that I'm paying for her. Yeah. She like, baby, are you getting this one? I'm like, nah. Bitch, what the fuck I look like? Like an ATM. Got a nice ass, but the attitude has gotta end. Not a pussy wetter than Denny's French fries. Left for an hour, yeah, no supervise. Now I'm thinking that I'll have the steak and fries. Keep talking shit and I'll have that baked pie. I like my steak, how I like a pussy. With a lot of pink and you know it's real messy. I don't give a fuck about a motherfucking pole. I'ma pull up with that stick and hit your motherfucking Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for subscribing. Now right now guys, I have a crazy idea. I want you guys to be involved in this, so listen up. I want to get Brian, Rich Chigga, on this show. I want to do a fucking YouTube video with him. I think it would be sick, I think it would be crazy. Now if you guys think that's gonna be sick, you guys think that's gonna be awesome, you can help out. So what you can do is go to your Twitter, tag me, Simply Aria, tag Brian at Rich Chiga, and ask for a collab. And if you want, I already made an automated tweet. You guys can just click the first link in the description and it's just gonna send the tweet out for you basically. And hopefully, if enough people do it, he will see this and we can make a fucking amazing ass video. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.